Hey everyone, welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Pulp by Robin Talley. So this is about Abby, who is in her senior year. However, the beginning of summer, her girlfriend broke up with her and it totally like threw her through a loop. Um, now, flash forward, senior year, girlfriend's back flirting with her and she just like, but doesn't actually want to get back together. So it's totally like mental mind poopery. I was going to say a different word, but I didn't <laughs> want to swear. <laughs> anyway, Abby's got to get her life together because she's got to write up a senior project. Um, she's got to write something because she's part of this creative writing track. So she's going to decide like what her topic is going to be. And um, she's recently become obsessed with these pulp novels about lesbians that were um, written in the 1950s. And this is back during a time when, like, you really couldn't be gay. It was during um, what was called the Lavender Scare, which was essentially very similar to the Red Scare. Part of it was, McCarthyism. It, yeah. So part of McCarthyism, people were kind of being jailed, blacklisted for having the lives that they had. Um now, this story has several different perspectives or several different stories kind of going on within a story. So you've got Abby, who's modern day, obsessed with these pulp um, writers and stories. She's going to write her own but turn the tropes on their head. She also becomes obsessed with one of the writers, Marianne Love, who kind of disappeared after her work was published. So Abby wants to kind of figure out what's going on with Marianne Love. Then you flash into a few of the pulp stories so you can read some of the stories. And then you flash back into the 50s to Janet, who has feelings for one of her friends and um, doesn't know what, like, not only is she kind of coming to terms with her own sexual identity, but also as it relates to the fact that her father works in the government, her friend works in the government, and it's not okay, you know, kind of to be gay, and especially in Washington, D.C. during the 1950s. And to kind of work through these feelings, um, Janet has started kind of reading these pulp novels, um, and writing her own stories. So that's essentially, like, what's going on in this book. So, um, I I actually really enjoy Robin Talley. This is my I first run on Robin Talley book. I thought this book was super boring. Like, I, it was really, really hard for me to get through it. I, no, I see, because I like her, I like her historical works. Um, <sighs> she's, she's had a few that were, like, fantasy, like, um... God, the one thing that I really hate that uh, Bone Gap was. What is that? Magical realism. She's had a few, like, magical realism. Totally hated those. Um, but she talks about, like, things in history that I feel like we don't normally see. See, there was nothing in this book I didn't already know. See, and that's not true for me. I didn't know about the pulp books. I didn't know that there were books written about lesbians in the 1950s. I didn't, I mean, I vaguely knew about the Lavender Scare, but I didn't know, like, kind of how insidious it was. Um... Yeah, I didn't know a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I learned it in college when I took the women in film class where we looked at that a lot or if I knew before because I just, I have a lot of weird information in my head. Um, no, um, I, so I've taken a lot of creative writing classes and this book to me defines telling not showing. Like, I feel like there was, everything was just like laid out for you like very flat on the page. Um, the only part that I really enjoyed and I actually would have read a whole book of was her writing of the Pulp Fictions. See, and I liked that, but I actually really enjoyed the Janet perspective. I thought that she always does really well with historical fiction. If there was a whole Janet book, I would have been okay with that. I didn't like Abby. I honestly, I finished this book yesterday. I don't remember Abby that well. I, Abby had a lot of family drama. It was obvious where that was going. To me, it was obvious, like, the big mystery of the author where that ended was going. And I mean, it was obvious, but I think that wasn't really, it wasn't the point to kind of hide that stuff. I think it was more to explore kind of this historical world to kind of bring to light the fact that there were African-American um lesbians during the time like and to talk about that because even if you find a book that's about kind of the LGBT community in the in the past it may not focus on kind of that section of um See, life and I tried to like this because I kept thinking that there are some kids who might feel like they're going through what these women went through and during the McCarthyism. And it particularly, I could see with the way the government is treating transgender teens now that they could feel, like, related to this. I don't know. The kids that come into my library and ask for books, 
I don't think they're going to read this. I don't see a kid being totally engaged by this because, like I said, I thought it was boring. Yeah. No, I didn't think it was boring. I enjoyed it. I There were certain pieces and parts that I didn't like. Um, I can see... Th- I can see a group of um, not only people who may feel the same as kind of the characters, but also if they want to explore kind of the history aspect. I can see that. I appreciated the fact that in the back she wrote out, okay, these are the these are the fictional kind of pulp writers. Here are the real ones. If you're interested, here's further reading. Like, that I can appreciate. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, unless a kid came in with a very specific request, this book would be so on my bottom of the list of things to recommend. Because it was like, a, this was like, almost felt like a punishment to get through. Like, I was like, I have to finish this. I'm sorry. I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I'm going to keep reading her books because I enjoyed it. So, her. yeah. So. Um, all right. We probably should wrap it up. So, our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. If it was spectacular, doesn't deserve horn, it is a horse. Where are you at? I'm at a two. Be, just be, I mean, normally, because like, I wouldn't have finished this if we weren't going to talk about it. But the premise was interesting. And... There were aspects of it, like a glimmer of stuff of something that I would like, so I'm going to. See, I'm between a three and a four. I think I'm going to go with a three because Abby's, unfortunately, Abby's perspective really kind of brought it down for me. It really did. So. All right, that's where we're at, so we'll see you around. Bye.